What's going on everyone? Nightwolf29 here back at it again, presenting you with Marvel Strike Force for the iPhone and Android cell phone. I'm not usually a cell phone gamer, but I really enjoy this game. It allows you to play as your favorite Marvel superheroes and villains, and today we are going to take on some campaign. We're going to jump into the Heroes Assemble campaign. And we are going to take on the Tomb of Ardcon. Now as you can see there is a full story that goes along with this as well which is always great and it keeps you very interested in the game. Uh, three different campaigns also have their own unique story and there are plenty of other things to do within the game as well. The characters also have a very witty banter with each other and I especially love that Spider-Man is just being Spider-Man. So my team is going to be from left to right, Hawkeye, Spider-Man, Captain America, Night Nurse, and Quake, who you may recognize from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Let's jump right into this. Alright, so in the main story, different characters have been taken over by Ultimus, who is then controlling them, and you will have to fight against them to progress the story. Your favorite Marvel superheroes also will be taking over as well. So we're going to begin our attack with Hawkeye. I believe I'm going to start off my attack taking on Yondu. He has a lot of area type effects. Spider-Man is great with his light and agile attacks and he can flip around. And now they're trying to target Thor. That's okay. Captain America, let's throw in that shield. Maybe Yondu uses his arrow. Now this type of mission is to protect the operator who is located in the bottom left with the two arrows protecting them. Quake, her attacks are really good because she not only does a force to hold back people but also slows them down. Night Nurse is excellent as a healer as well and can definitely keep your team alive so definitely get her as fast as you can. Thor is not bad. I'm going to use one of his multiple attacks as you see there with his hammer. Now with the operator, it's going to do her thing to I believe activate a portal and you just have to complete her or defend her rather uh, several times. As you can see one out of four stages is complete so I don't necessarily have to beat everyone, but I have to make sure that she stays alive to activate the different levels. I'm going to use one of Spider-Man's great attacks here, which will apply stun against Yondu. His big thing is that he likes to not only use that arrow, but it also brings in other people as well. We don't need any other forces against us. Okay, we're going to do another just basic attacks to make sure he is all good. I'm going to use Taunt. Now Taunt is very effective in this game. Makes it that all the bad guys focus on that one character. But it ensures other people stay alive as well. Once again, we're going to hit slow. This will slow down the speed bar of the bad guys. And make it that they cannot attack as frequently as I can. Night Nurse with her little shot right there. Okay, so we have taken out Yondu. Let's go on to the second stage with the Operator. Alright, with the Operator, we're two stages in. Key has been activated, so let's keep this moving. Alright, so we're taking a couple hits there, but that is okay. Uh, we're going to have it that Spider-Man will attack a couple people at the same time. Well, most times he will apply different status effects. Hawkeye will have his attack, which will dispel her, dispel Nexus' ability to counterattack and also to uh, speed up. Let's focus now on Nexus. Okay, so she's going after my operator. Now, most of the people will try and go after the operator. If she dies, then the game is over. I'm going to use Quake's special move, which is a massive earthquake that will hit everyone for a good area of effect attack. Now one of the other people has done a taunt, so it will force me to only attack him. 
However, this isn't bad because now we can have Night Nurse. Give healing. She can heal everyone at one time. They also have their own person who can then also heal. So usually I would try to focus on them as well. Thor's special attack shoots lightning to hit everyone. Also applies different status effects such as stun. The pre oracle has a thing with zeal, which also adds regeneration for health. Now, one of the armor guys has also done taunt. So, with the riot guard, so I can either attack him or I can go after the royal guard. The royal guard is stunned right now. Well, we're just gonna have Spider Man go in to hit against the riot guard. Um, let's see, next move will be Hawkeye. His special move blinds people and also attacks everyone. About two people will have the blind status effect, so then they can't attack as effectively. Captain America, we're just going to have him try and fight against the riot guard a little bit. The attack didn't seem to go as well, but that's okay. Operator has been healed with the regeneration that Night Nurse has put on for everyone. And now we have completed the third stage. So just one more group, or one more stage rather, and we are all done here. Just have to keep it moving, ensure that the, oper the operator stays alive, and we will have completed this. Alright, bad guys are doing their thing right there. Okay, it still has it that the taunt is on the right guard, but that is okay. I'm gonna use Quake to slow down people. Now with her slow, when it hits the direct target, it also hits the adjacent targets. So this is very good for crowd control. Night Nurse will have her focused heal on one person, which heals a great amount. Still has the taunt. I'm going to use Thor's secondary move, which hits multiple people. And is very effective to spread damage all around. Akai will use his primary attack just to pepper the other people. Spider-Man's basic attack also allows him to attack others as well. Now we don't want them hitting the operator anymore, so we'll use Captain America's taunt ability once again. It also gives energy to a random ally and to any Avenger that's on the team, so it definitely helps having an Avenger or two on the team if you're going to use Captain America as well. Alright, so Nebula has increased her speed. We're going to use Quake to counter that to get slow, and she dodged my attack. So that kind of sucked, but that's okay. Just keep it moving, keep attacking, and this should be the last stage. We have opened up the portal for us to escape. And by escape, I mean to free Ultimus. Now, like I said, there is a great story that goes along with this, and it is very interesting in terms of the different worlds and dimensions uh, that have been controlled by one Ultimus, but because there are multiple dimensions, there is an Ultimus in infinite number of dimensions as well. And this is actually the mission to free him. Now that is what I call a victory. No one has died. Three stars all across. We get all the rewards because the victor goes to spoils. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video, my first video rather, on Marvel Strike Force. If you like to see here, definitely subscribe to my page. Check out more of my videos. There will be more Marvel Strike videos to come. And as always, I will talk to you later.